Good afternoon everybody, welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm down a rather brownish, greenish brown, <laughs> small river once again. <sighs> the rain keeps coming, doesn't it? It's been chucking down all morning. Uh, it's about, I should say, it's about uh, two o'clock now. It's been chucking down all morning. I finally got out when the rain stopped. Uh, it suited me though, because I did stay up till uh, stupid o'clock watching the ashes last night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm out now for, just till it gets dark, perhaps two and a half hours, something like that. Uh, I did think of going to the Avon, had a look, but it's still reasonably high, reasonably coloured, and uh, I never do too much good, to be honest, in my in my experience down there when it's like that. So I've come up one of the smaller tributaries. Now, I did fancy doing a bit of trotting, but this is it's too coloured here. Um, there's still only perhaps a few inches of visibility, um, and it's far too windy as well. You probably won't hear it. We're down below the bank here, as you can see, <laughs> banks up there, but uh, it's far too windy. You'll, you'll see as we go for a row a bit further down the stretch. I just trotting's going to be out. So there's going to be a lot less windy tomorrow. So if this river doesn't go up, hopefully we can get out tomorrow and do a bit of trotting. But uh, we'll have to see. We'll have to see what uh, what tomorrow brings. Whether this river does come up. Um, so what I've gone with is. Uh, I'm going to go on the on the feeder or the ledger. I've got my Drennan uh, Specialist Twin Tip Duo, 12 foot, pound and a half test curve. Found that's uh, been been nice for using on these smaller rivers. It's perhaps a little bit long, really, but uh, you can't have a rod for every single occasion, can you? And it do, certainly does a job, and it's it's lovely to to catch some chub and, and perhaps some roach on that. So we're going to go on the, either a very small feeder or on the link ledger, depending on whether I want to move the bait around, probably on the feeder with looking at the colour of the water. Visibility's uh, not very good down there. So it's a tiny little feeder with a little bit of ground bait in it. I've got some Census 3000 Gross Gardons ground bait. Little sort of chocolatey, sweet smell to it. So we'll get some smell in the water. It's non-fish meal as well. Um, and bait's very simple. I have bought some maggots, but not really intending on using them. Um, it's going to be bread and worms, mostly bread, really. I do love my bread fishing on these smaller rivers. I've got my standard running ledger set up. I'll stick a link up there so you can go and have a look at uh, how I tie this up. Uh, it's a bit easy to explain in the in the house than uh, they're trying to do it on a bank. But uh, it's very adjustable, little setup. Um, so yeah, there's a link up there to that. Um, and I'm just going to use my standard fluoro carbon tied hook links that I use uh, again I'll stick another link up there you can go and have a look how I tie my hook links up it's fairly straightforward but uh, just explains fully the gear I'm using now I have forgotten my long landing net handle so I've got my fold folding landing net today <laughs> so we'll have to get fairly close to the water but yeah I think that's enough waffle isn't it we'll have a go in here first and uh, we'll have a rover bait till it gets dark see what happens so I think we'll, we'll start on bread it's going to be the mainstay we'll eat today do love bread fishing behind a tiny little feeder. These feeders are very, very small. Just a little bit of smell in there. Not really trying to feed the fish, just attract them to the bait. Because uh, obviously you need to use a smelly bait in these sort of conditions. But if you're using a not very smelly bait like bread, which I love to do, and obviously you need some other way of the fish being able to find the Bait. and this way they can I'm just going to fish this corner swim not going to give any of the swims too long really we'll just uh, that would have been fun got to set me landing it up as usual just sort of in and out of these swims perhaps 15-20 minutes in each one just to see if we can winkle a fish out. You usually know within that time. If you've had a knock within 15 minutes. Then obviously uh, catch a fish and then it's usually time to move on anyway. You usually find it's only one, one fish per swim generally, one decent fish we're talking. Well, we'll have a go in here. As I say, we'll have a little rove down do a few swims. If 
fished this for many, many years ago, and it used to be quite good for roach. Nothing of any size, really, but certainly numbers of roach. But uh, I'm quite surprised I haven't had any bangs and taps yet. But you know, that was a few years ago. Certainly nice down here out of the wind. <laughs> it's proper blowing today. Mm, that's peculiar. Even a nibble. Increase the distance between the feeder and the, and the bait. Just in case the fish are sitting off the feeder a little bit. Put a worm on as well, which can often be fantastic in these conditions. And they're, they're sort of, we're running off from a flood. Fish are used to seeing worms, I think, in the, in the water. In these conditions. Yeah, very surprised this is not getting packed in here by a smaller fish. That doesn't bode well at all. <laughs> this rain has been cold, so perhaps, uh, perhaps it's put the fish off. It will be hard work today. Well, that's very peculiar. Not a nibble. Absolutely nothing. Very strange. I have one more cast. <coughs> into the slacker area around this inside. It's not too much current today, so I wouldn't think we really need to fish in the slack water, but... We'll just have a cast right there, just to see. Very small fish knock. <laughs> <Not something. laughs> well, perhaps you're just sitting in that slack of water on the inside. Scrapping, whatever it is. Well, that's a reasonable roach. That's nice. Just about lifting out. <laughs> that's about that. <laughs> a little bit of worm. Just sitting around the inside here. This inside line. And slightly slack of water. Back you go. Well, that's interesting. So we know what to look for now. They do want to be out of the flow. I'll we'll tuck that round again. Same place. Well, that's a nice start. Well, nothing else for coming there. <clears throat> so I'm going to have a move. We can always come back. Now we've baited it up a bit, effectively. Yeah, I'm not going to hang about. We haven't got long today, as I say. Two, two and a half hours, something like that. So we'll get a lick on. Absolutely love swings like this. Just had to break my way in through all the undergrowth. Clearly you never get fished. And this stretch doesn't get fishing much. But uh, 
Yeah, this swim clearly, clearly doesn't get fished. <laughs> Love these wild stretches. Got, a, got one planned for next year as well, next season. Really looking forward to having a go on. I love these small feeders because just because that little plop, they just make a little plop, just like a slug or something falling in the water. Again, we'll just give it five or ten minutes, you know, if there's a fish there and it's, it's hungry, I'm thinking chub really in this one, you know, it's really not going to take long to get a bite. Obvious bit of cover there. Current's pushing through under there a bit, but uh, you never know. I'm sure there's slacks under there. Perhaps we can tempt him out with the smell of some nice grime. Mate. The idea is he'll come out. I smell that ground bait. I just threw a couple of bits in and obviously what's in the feeder. I'll come out, smell that, come out and uh, see that bit of bread wafting right in the current. That's the idea. So there's anyone down there of course? Oh, blimey. Well, I just picked up that and we're, we've got a fish on. How strange is that? Didn't even see a bite. How bizarre. Just going to try a worm. Definitely a chub, I think. Wait, it's going for all the cover. <laughs> wow. Very, very shy bite. Well, non-existent bite, actually. <laughs> Hard going today. <laughs> right. Have a look at you, little fella. Well, there he is. No monster, and uh, yeah, no bite. <laughs> I was actually literally just getting the worms out to um, to try a worm. Well, red strikes again. I'll. Uh, I think I will try a worm. Put a worm off her. Five minutes before we uh, before we go. See if perhaps we can pick up his big brother. As I said, I often find these swims are they're one bite only. I'll just throw me the landing net down here. Just for five minutes. I didn't think it was strange, I don't have to bite here. I mean it looks so chubby. But <laughs> like if you could draw a chub swim, this would be it. A bend, <laughs> a raft, snaggy. <laughs> well, hopefully, as I say, we can winkle his big brother out maybe. I think it was strange. I had a bite, but I only looked away for a few seconds. I mean, perhaps, perhaps I had a bite in those uh, couple of seconds I was getting a the worms out. They certainly the tip wasn't rattling away when I picked it up, picked the rod up. Could perhaps do with using my ultralight today really very very fine sort of half or three quarter ounce tip on but um it's just too much current too much flow today oh there we go we're gonna knock that sort that out. there we go 
There we go. <laughs> Very gentle bite again. Obviously, show a small chub down there. <laughs> Just about, just about lift him out. It's a bit cavalier. Shouldn't really have done that, but <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Clearly, shoulder of smaller chub down there. Again, we'll stick him in a key, key net, landing net with his mate. See if we can work our way through the bodyguards. <laughs> Catch one of the bigger ones, if there is any down there. Well, that was again proper, little rustly bite. It's too slow to be a small fish, but it was proper small fish bite. I haven't got heavy tip in here, I think it's two ounce tip in here. Certainly the lightest one it comes with. I think it's two ounce. Oh, there's a bread there. Another worm on. Seem to work very quickly. I think they're starting to home in on this feeder now. Well, this is very enjoyable. Not big, are they? But it's very enjoyable anyway. Nonetheless. But you never quite know. With, uh, are these small rivers what you're going to catch? As I've said before. This more uh, covered section as well up here. The top of the stretch. I think there's only me and my mate Mick the fish here to be honest. <laughs> there's not really any pegs here. As I say, I've just made this peg. It's difficult to uh, break my way in. It is nice being out of the wind, that's for sure. A little rattle then. I hope you can see uh, the tip all right. These are very gentle bites, so I'm not sure you'll pick them out. And the tip's only moving a few millimetres. A uh, couple of little taps then. Certainly something down there chewing on the worm. <laughs> I think that was a small fish. <laughs> right, we'll have one more cast. And then we'll, uh, we'll have a little bit of a move. Apologies if me uh, doing the same thing in several videos now is uh, getting a bit boring, but you have to fish the conditions, don't you? And really, if I was down the Avon, I'd be uh, I'd be looking to get a bite. I think There's one or two places I could possibly wiggle a fish out. My friend Mick went to uh, one of them this morning and had a chub out, but said it was pretty hard going. Time. Right, we'll get these fellas back and we'll get uh, we'll get moved. Get them back in. Go on chaps, back you go. Off they go. Oh blimey, there's a current on the inside here. On the outside of the bend here. <laughs> Lovely job. Right, let's get moved. Once again, another swim I've made. <laughs> Very up close and personal, this one. I'm trying to fish down to some cover. There's an old tree in the water down there. I'm just down to that, really. 
Give it five minutes, as I said. I keep doing lots of swims, I think it's certainly the best way to try and find some fish. Flick that down there. Just see if we can uh, wiggle set that someone out from under that. And snags down there. Did drop a little bit of ground bait in here earlier when I wandered past. Just a couple of balls. I don't think I've ever fished this particular spot before. But like I say, we'll give it 10 minutes. Just see if anyone can be tempted. Well, nothing doing. I've even had a cast upstream. That's a nice little snag to my left, but uh, nothing doing. Certainly not easy going today. Get the uh, hook out of my finger. <laughs> right, I've removed. So, another very intimate swim between two big snags. I'm going to get cast in here. I'm literally, when I say cast, I'm probably just going to drop the bait in down there, to be honest. <laughs> just swinging about all over the place. I just want to drop it about there, I think. There's some depth in there, which is good. I'll just give it five minutes in here. Never fished in here before. I so I have fished a stretch before, but a lot of these swims I'm doing today I, just, I haven't fished before. I thought just fancy a bit of an explore. May have a move a bit further down the stretch there after the swim. I'll have a walk down, bet a few swims and then work our way back and fish them on the way back. Just see if there's anything right in here. I'll just have one cast here and perhaps we'll have a cast a bit further down. Right. Got a current on my near bank here. And I want to fish just over the far side, so I'll get me right up in here, I think. You may have a go in the flow, but I just want to fish. Over there, where well, there's a bit of slack, first off. Let's try again. Right, that's better. Okay. Let's get that up in the air. I'll just give it five minutes over there. Before we perhaps drop it in this current in front of me here. Current doesn't look too fast in here. get a bite we'll just try over that other side first and that lovely slack and I say the river's been up the fish may well just still be holding up in there yeah something's chewing away at that worm oh, something's on <laughs> was chewing away at that worm <laughs> ah little chub <laughs> Well, catching, catching a few chub today. Is that chub or a dace? Ah, oh, it's a chub, it's got a huge mouth. <laughs> right, keep going. Not quite the size you're after. It's a uh, uh, bit of bread in the current down here, see if we can, uh, we can wake one out. Small fish rattles in there. I think I might have one off. <laughs> yeah. 
got a little chublet by the looks of it. <laughs> well, I think it is. Careful. Yeah, another little chublet. <laughs> well, I do come trot in here. This might be a good swim. I can run the float quite a long way there under those trees, admittedly, but no problem with that. Right, I'm going to crack on anyway today. I'm going to try and do these other swims before it gets too dark to see this quiver tip. Right, let's get gone. Well, this is proper hard going this afternoon. <laughs> Lots of little ones. What I've done is come to one of my, well, I was going to say banker swims. You could call it that on this stretch. There's not really any banker swims on this but I have fished this end of this stretch more than the other end. One day you can catch a chub in five minutes in a swim and another day you could sit there for five hours and you wouldn't catch one. So it's it's a bit like that really but I have caught a few times in this swim. So I'll call it a bit of a banker but we'll we'll see. Well, hopefully, like I say, hopefully, hopefully you can see the tip. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll snare one in here, fingers crossed. We're on the inside of a bend here, just downstream of the bend, and water's been thrown to the far side. It's a little bit of a slack in here. Although at the moment, moment because of the water level, it's moving at pretty much the same pace as the rest of the water, really. I do often fish a bit further up than this, swim about, well, I swim, it's really swimsy in this stretch, but about six or seven metres further upstream. It's often better to fish ahead of the pool, but it's very, very turbulent up there today. So I've dropped a little bit further down. But we'll see, we'll give it ten minutes in here anyway. We may well winkle the chub out. I say it's usually fairly reliable swim. Because we really are losing the light fast, I don't know if you're coming over on that that camera because there's quite a lot of cloud cover as well. But to be honest I think these fish are they're not really that interested today to be honest. Certainly don't seem it. from the bites I'm getting and the fact I'm catching some smaller fish as well, smaller chub. I only tend to catch smaller chub in these smaller rivers when the big ones are not that interested. A bit more suicidal and uh, opportunist, not the small ones. Big ones got big for a reason. A bit more careful. And if they're sort of not really in the mood for it, it can be impossible to tempt. I say big ones, I mean a big one on this stretch. A really big one is a four pounder. I've got a tab. Which is a good start. And another one, but it's a very quick rattle. Like small fish. It's pulled over a bit now. What I don't really want to be doing is pulling lots of small fish out of a swim when I'm trying to catch a big one in there. So the one spot I did fancy, just a little bit further downstream there, I got to and uh, it was boiling up like a good one so I'll give it a miss to be honest. <laughs> Uh, there's any point in fishing in there. Just a nice little sort of snaggy corner where the fish hold up, but there's not going to be any fish there today. Not with it boiling like that. So, 
come straight down here. A nice little pool in this middle of this stretch. By pool, I mean like a, a sort of wider bit of the river. I don't mean a, a pool as in <laughs> a pond. It's just a bit of a wider bit. And the river opens up a little bit. We'll just uh, just have a few minutes in here. We can't see the quiver chip anymore. Hope you can see it all right. Put your back a bit again. We'll see a bit better. There we go. And sometimes put fish up in here. Slower than it has been when I fished it recently, a couple of times. Varying degrees of success. I've blanked in it once or twice, I think. And the other time I caught a nice chub in that roach that was over a pound. <laughs> it's one of those in here. I'm not going to hold my breath, put it that way. Well guys, that's me done. I think I could sit here all night and I'll catch anything. <laughs> They're really not interested today, the bigger fish. Not quite sure exactly why. As I say, the river's dropping. There's a nice colour in it, but um, we've had some rain, as I say. Maybe that that's chilled the water, put some of the, uh, the road salt and road grit into the river as well, which I'm sure it has. Uh, that doesn't do any good either, does it? I can make all the excuses you like, really, but uh, they're not having it today so that's that well i thought i'd uh, i'd make this video just to show you it's not all bagging out and it's not all catching big chub all the time i do have sessions like this where uh, for one reason or other another i've not been able to get out in the week i've had my booster jab um this week I felt rough for a couple of days just not been able to get out and work etc etc so today was the first chance uh, i grabbed it and uh knew it wasn't ideal conditions and uh, so it's proved but you know lots of people can only fish certain days can't they and uh you know that, that's what happens you uh, you have to take what you're given but yeah i may well get out tomorrow as i say that was the plan i'm planning on it but it just depends what the rivers do with the rain that we had um this morning and last night uh, chucked it down again it was very cold again uh, the rain so if the river starts to come up again it's probably not going to be worth it and i may leave it a few days just into the week but uh if they don't then perhaps perhaps tomorrow might be good and uh perhaps we might do a bit better if we get the trotting gear out but that's for next time hopefully tomorrow but for now thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that despite the lack of larger fish but we winkled a few out anyway tight lines enjoy your own angling many thanks to the channel patrons for your uh, wonderful support and i'll see you all again hopefully tomorrow <laughs>